Universe Trillion Theory. Welcome to Trillion Theory. This is video number six, Cosmic Origin. Cosmic Origin is just one of over 20 videos in my Trillion Theory series. For the full length cosmic story, go to my YouTube channel, Universe New Trillion Theory. Trillion Theory is a new universe theory founded by Canadian theorist, pen name Ed Luke. If Trillion Theory is correct, the origin of our universe may be bolder than we had ever imagined. Could astronomers be misreading what they see? Trillion Theory estimates our ancient cosmos at a trillion years. Cosmos is so old that a supermassive black hole at the hub of a galaxy may be 950 billion years old. Trillion Theory says that there is super science at work in our cosmos. Much more is afoot here than meets the eye. Trillion Theory proposes that over the past trillion years, black holes have built our ancient cosmos. A trillion years ago, dating back to the cosmic origin, black holes began their vital work. What we don't know about baffling, mysterious black holes totally outweighs what we do. Trillion theory proposes the cosmos has quadrillions of black holes and they are all tireless workers. Quadrillions of black holes work the cosmos as supermassive controls an entire galaxy while smaller black holes supply rotation and gravity to suns, planets, and moons. Trillion theory states, black holes are cosmic builders of spheres, solar systems, and galaxies. The reason a black hole devours light is to build a new cosmic sphere around itself. Black holes build all orbs, solar systems, and galaxies. They provide the spin and the gravity throughout the cosmos. Trillion theory says this about what black holes can do. Light captured is spun into matter. Light is trapped for billions of years. Light escapes after billions of years. How did the cosmos begin? Trillion theory shows that black holes built our cosmos starting a trillion years ago, way back at the cosmic origin. Could the cosmic origin have been a small start which grew to gigantic? Astrobuffs interject. Where does trillion theory get the energy or matter to grow the cosmos larger? We've been told that there is a limited supply of matter which was spread out by Big Bang. So how can a cosmos grow? Clever scientific design. Only two things involved. Light is the incredible material that can spin into matter and later recycle back to light. And black holes are the engines that spin light into matter to build a sphere, and billions of years later recycle that matter back to light. An endless energy supply. A trillion years ago, at the cosmic start, all that existed was an endless frozen ocean of light. Today, this limited supply of light is still accessed by black holes. Frozen light? Scientists in the lab have stopped the speed of light to zero, basically freezing it. When a black hole entered the frozen light ocean, it deployed terrific spin to dislodge frozen light chunks which jumped to light speed, only to be swallowed up by the black hole as it spun that fresh light into matter. At the cosmic origin, all that existed was an ocean of frozen light. The first black hole broke away frozen strands. It quickly devoured any free light, spinning it into matter around itself. The ratio of emptiness dwarfed the small size of the orb built by the black hole. Within the light ocean, vacated empty space surrounded the black hole. As more black holes entered, they freed more light, expanding the size of the cavern inside the light ocean. Several black holes were held in orbit by the gravity of the largest black hole, thus forming the first ever solar system. Today, there exists a vastness to space. Proportionally, when a black hole spins light into matter, the orbit builds is only a millionth the size of the vast empty space cavern its actions create. Ratio of sphere to space. 
Look out at the night sky. You will see gravity stations where light is tightly packed into a dense orb by the black hole residing inside. The orb holds the trap lights of weight and heat. Left out in the cold is the surrounding weightless void called space, millions of times faster than the orb. Black holes are cosmic worker bees. At the far edges of the cosmos, black holes access more ocean light so they can build another sphere. This action further expands the space cavern. It also frees extra light to travel through space for use by new solar systems and galaxies. The cosmic laws of trillion theory deal with light, which is the cosmic building material, and black holes, which are the engines of the cosmos. Trillion theory is cosmic laws for light. Light is the indestructible building material used to make all matter in our cosmos. Light can be spun into matter by the incredible spinning skills of naked black holes. Light carries in its toolbox the electromagnetic spectrum, heat, weight, and mass. Light is the ultimate recycling material. It can be spun into matter by a black hole, and then after billions of years, it can escape from an atom and return to light. My Trillion Theory video series is based upon Trillion Theory's seven book series. Here are Trillion Theories social media sites. Your help could be huge. Critical proofs for Trillion Theory require joint venture funding. If you can, partner up with Trillion Theory. If you are an astronomer, an astrophysicist, or a physicist, please partner with Trillion Theory. If you are an investor who likes upside potential, or an angel investor wishing to be part of a legacy, email theory1 at telus.net. For more on Trillion Theory, go to the next video in the Trillion Theory series. And the Trillion Theory, the full version, is now available. To take action, share my Trillion Theory videos and click the subscribe button to receive more of my YouTube videos and visit my website, trillionus.com. And thanks for viewing Trillion Theory.